One of the challenges that I run into with LinkedIn and executing a strong strategy of engaging with my target audience is that the LinkedIn feed is not always what I want to see. And so I have um, figured out some ways to create saved searches that can really improve the way that you engage with LinkedIn. So it's a way to customize your home feed in a way. So if you look at um, what I've done here is I've created these bookmarks or what I would call saved searches for people that I want to be engaging with. And this allows me to find only the people that have posted recently. So I might want to look over in just the 24 hours and just identify posts that are super relevant to specific members of LinkedIn that I want to engage with. This allows me to go through those posts very quickly and identify posts that I want to engage with um, to support those members. I can comment on them, which is going to get me more attention from my target audience because most of these people are influencers of my target audience. And it also allows me to find their most recent posts, which will increase the likelihood that my comment will be seen by more people in my target audience. So let's talk about how I do this. Going back to the homepage, we'll start that search from scratch. Now, what I recommend that you do is have two tabs open um, in LinkedIn because you're going to create two different searches here. So the first search, I'm going to look for um, topics in my keywords. So for example, I enjoy following people that are talking about the predictable revenue model and um, some shortcomings of the predictable revenue model. So the first thing I do is type in predictable revenue model and search. Then I'm going to look specifically for posts that are relevant to that topic. So I'm going to click posts here and then I'm going to not let um, LinkedIn decide how to sort, but I'll leave it at um, top match for now. And instead of fixing that, I'm going to look for people who have posted in the last week or the past month. I'd like to, in this case, find posts that have gotten some traction. So I'm going to pick the past month and by picking most relevant, it will hopefully have LinkedIn sort these by posts that are getting the most engagement. So what I'm looking for is people who are talking about predictable revenue that are getting engagement and are also talking um, around topics that I'm interested in. So this first one is about saunas. It's going to be more about franchise. I'm not really all that interested in that. So I'm going to skip that. But as I scroll down, I'm looking at how much engagement a post has gotten. And if it's getting decent engagement, now this one's only two hours old, so I'm not too worried about it not getting a lot of engagement. But I'll just kind of keep scrolling through here and identify things that have gotten a lot of engagement. All right, this one's interesting. This is a person that might be a good influencer for me. So I'm going to read the post, figure out whether this is a good one for me. And then I'll also check, take a look at who's commenting and engaging on that. And if these people, if at least 20% of the people who have engaged with this post match my target audience, then this looks like a good influencer for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually go grab this person's contact information or this person's name because I'm going to go look for him um, in my other saved search. So I noticed that he's got an unusual spelling for his name. So now I'm going to go into my other saved search. Now this is really important. If I type predictable revenue model into this search, I'm going to end up only finding searches for members who actually use that keyword in their post. And in this case, I actually want to just identify these influencers so I can go back and look at all the posts they put up. To do that, you search on the plus sign. What that does is it actually brings up everything on LinkedIn. And you can tell because um, if you click people here, it's going to give you about a billion results and about a billion is how many members are on LinkedIn now. So that tells me I'm getting everybody, but I don't want people. I want posts. So I'm going to click the all posts tab um, and that's going to give me this information. Then this is the game changer. I'm going to first 
I might sort it by top match or latest here. That's a choice that you can make. Latest will often get you um, more relevant immediate content, or um, you can also filter on past 24 hours. So if I'm gonna visit this, this particular saved search daily and use it as my new home feed, for example, I'll pick the past 24 hours. So um, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna select from member. I have found that if I click all filters, it's a little bit easier for me to do this. So now I'm gonna go add that person's name and I'm looking for Adam, um, oh boy, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. So I'm gonna just copy his name and I'm gonna go over here and search and there's him. Now, what you'll find is that sometimes you're gonna find more than one person with the same name. So you wanna pay attention to what their headline says and what their photo looks like for you to make it easier to find the right Adam. So I've added Adam. Now I'm gonna go back to my saved search. Whoops, um, here's my saved search. So go back into that and continue looking for more thought leaders that are talking about this particular topic. So here's somebody who's gotten seven engagements. If these, now these aren't really my target audience, so I'm gonna move away from that one and keep looking for people that are getting engagement and I'm just scrolling through and I'm focusing on how many likes they got. I'm not finding a lot here um, that are getting a ton of engagement. Ah, here's one. So this may or may not be a strong one, although um, it looks like we're getting somebody who's got a top LinkedIn voice. So this might be somebody who is influencing um, my audience, or it might be a direct competitor, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna check who's engaging with the content. Again, if these people represent my top audience, then I'm gonna go and look at this person again. And I can just copy the name here too. If I don't want to go to her profile, I can just grab it here and copy that. I'm noticing that her image looks like this and that it says LinkedIn top voice helping entrepreneurs. So I'll go over here and I'm gonna add her as another member. Oh, there she is. This is the right person, so I add her. Now, I have noticed that you have a limit of 28 profiles that you can add here. I don't know why that is, but I have banged my head against the wall a lot before I figured out that that was 28. So once I've added my 28 members, then I show results, and I now have a custom home feed for those. Then I just click in um, Chrome to create a bookmark I save it under my bookmarks. Now in my case, I actually wanna save it in my LinkedIn bookmarks. So um, that's this post, this right here, and it's gonna add that as another saved search for me. And then I can go back in and modify that and name it as necessary and modify it. Right now it's just gonna show up as the plus sign, but you can go and edit those bookmarks. So I hope that you find this helpful. Get back to me if um, you want, if you have questions on this, or um, if you want more tips about how to use LinkedIn, you can go to my website, which is propelgrowth.com, and um, you'll find information about our courses, about our accelerator, and um, all of the different kinds of information that we provide on how to turn LinkedIn into a social selling tool for you to generate leads. You can also subscribe to my newsletter where you get more tips like this all the time. Um, hope this has been helpful for you.